in this lesson we will see what is boolean command in 3d max so i'll just take the box i'll drag the box on top viewport to make uh, some wall kind of thing yeah and i'll go and click right click come out of the box command again and go to click and say again box maybe uh, how door looks just make something like that I'll click on shaded now this big box and this is small box I'll just click and say rename this box as a wall now I'll just select this box and I'll go to create you can click on create and say compound object and you can see here it's boolean I'll click on boolean what boolean does boolean minus as the object like we can cut down this object with, with the ball so I'll just take pick operand B if you see there is a lot of options like reference copy instance so right now I don't want to dig into this uh, options because um, same thing um, I don't want to confuse you I'll click on op pick operand B and if you see operands are A that is a big wall we have renamed this wall and B which is I am going to click so now this is what the operation is that subtraction is A minus B this, this is the A object the wall and B which are going to minus it so now I'll just click on this box and this box vanishes generally uh, we see it the object has been deleted and has been gone and we have got we have got the cut but it's not like that generally boolean keeps that object I'll go to modify if you see the box is here itself and we have this extract operand and uh, if you see this is not activated why because not we have selected if you select this box and say extract operand you can get this box back getting this box back what is the benefit of it so I'll just make changes in the width maybe like this now I'll just move this box or I'll just say delete it no problem you can get that dimension cut on that previous wall so the point is I'll, uh, if you have any changes in your windows doors what we generally uh, do from the booleans so we have lot of changes uh, client changes the uh, door size or, or whatever we changes the position we we reduces the size we can get this uh, correction at very quickly you know so now I'll just say again extract operand selecting the box again I can come down with the width like this or move it I'll say delete so this is what the benefit of boolean so now I'll uh, just want to uh, show you what boolean can't do because it's uh, we have to keep in mind while boolean uh, making boolean command I'll take one more box so sorry I'll say this one press G on my keyboard to see clearly click and I'm taking as a box I'm just say right click I'll go to move and I can keep it like this selecting this box one I'll go to create I'll go to compound objects and say boolean and pick operand B and say click now this is what happens so now I'll just say undo yeah I'll make like this I'll make a copy of it go to boolean and say pick operand B click fine it's happening pick operand B another one it's not happening it's just vanishing the first point why it's happening we want two holes we want two windows to fit 
so the point is i'll just undo it yeah so now we have the two boxes i'll just make reposition of it one object i'll convert it into a readable poly which we have seen in previous lesson and we have an attach command in that i'll say attach or maybe you can click on this attach list you will get how many you know these are the objects are and i'll say no i'll say attach on the screen now i have got attached you can say you can move it you can check this okay these are the attached objects and click on this wall or box i'll go to again create menu go to compound objects here is compound objects and click on boolean and say pick operand b and click now why this happened because we have made that convert converted into a readable poly and made that one box two box we have attached it so this is what we get generally if we have uh, many objects to boolean we always attach it and we make a boolean but in next lesson i'll i'll discuss uh, the pro boolean command what it is so it's have some advantages on the boolean with the pro boolean so we'll discuss in next lesson